A few new businesses have found their way to downtown Stevens Point, one specializing in watch and clock repair and the other in bike repair. I was intending to go into the business about 20 years ago and I got some training then, and, and, uh, but as far as uh, trying to make a living doing watch work, <laughs> it's not a very easy way to do it. So life took me a different direction for a while, and I just did it as a hobby for a number of years. But uh, in, as far as reaching out to the public, uh, it's only been a few years now. But uh, we've been doing it with wholesalers and dealers for a number of years before that. Watches as part of being dressed. But I know we've gotten out of the habit here around us. Uh, a lot of people just carry a cell phone. But it, it's it's more than a timekeeper. It's also a piece of personality and it's your fashion as well as a statement about what you value. If it's quality or if it's you like to make a statement, bold statements, big watches and bright colors, all that reflects who you are as a person. Just like the clock shop, the bike shop has only been in business for a couple of years. I originally started the shop. 2010 and then I got a location uh, just two doors down from my current location and I did that for a while uh, about two seasons and then recently moved to this location just because it's much bigger I'm able to do a lot more repair and actually sell a few bikes too. Yeah, the new location is, is definitely a lot easier to work in. I can have all of my parts and pieces and things like that that I need here uh, instead of uh, in a storage location that I had before. So it makes things a lot more productive and uh, a lot more efficient. I guess I've been doing this since I was at least right, 13 years old. So it's something I like to do and I can run a business doing it. So it's great. One of the biggest things John wants to stress is that he has no set prices. Uh, I guess the biggest thing is I am an alternative bike shop uh, you know, compared to the other two that are in town. Uh, my prices, uh, I don't do set prices on things. Uh, mainly each bike is is different and they need different needs. Uh, also the, the owner of the bike maybe doesn't want to overhaul or pay it for a $60, $80 tune-up. They just want their brakes adjusted and they want to know how to do it how it's done. So with me, uh, each bike is given a free estimate. I just go over it with the customer and make sure that we agree on a proper price. Uh, I try to be fair to myself and fair to them. So I think having set prices, either the shop ends up getting uh, messed over or the customer gets messed over. Uh, so really to have On spot estimate uh, is definitely nice. For more campus, national, and world news, stay tuned to The Pointer at uwsp.thepointer.com.